Hello, my name is Sarah van Dongen and I'm an illustrator from the Netherlands. Right now I'm in my tiny little studio in Amsterdam and I wanted to show you my uh, first picture book. It's called The Neighborhood Surprise and um, obviously it's about a neighborhood but mostly it's about friendship and food and a big party. So I thought it would be fun to draw some foods today, mostly cakes and some party stuff. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I'm using uh, my sketchbook, but you can use just a loose piece of paper. And I will be drawing with crayons. So um, grab your crayons or you can also use colored pencils or markers. You can use paint, but then you need a little bit of patience for it to dry. I also have these chunky um, sort of colored pencils between a colored pencil and a crayon. So grab whatever is near you and let's start by drawing a little round cake. So uh, oh, color wise, I have a lot of pinkish warm colors and some orange and yellows, a bit of blue and some brown for the chocolate. So it's nice to use um, bright festive colors so starting with a round cake um so the base is almost a circle half a circle and then the bottom is just a straight line and then let's color it in so maybe this is it's not really a strawberry color is it maybe more a sort of raspberry flavored cake and then maybe it has some, like a glaze on top. So I'm using a darker color on top. And then let's add a cherry. So how I draw a cherry is, I draw a little dot, a little ball, and then I add the little branch. So let's add the cherry to the cake. Ha ha ha. And this one. Now the cake may need um, a little plate, a saucer. So how I do that is again drawing a circle, but not really completing it. So more like this. So I start at one end and I go to the other end and that's one cake done well no maybe it has like a little brown biscuit layer that's a fun detail okay let's draw a bigger cake like um, a more traditional cake how I do that is I start again with a circle and then add two straight long lines down and then I add sort of half a circle. Now let's not, not color the whole thing in. Let's add sort of a dripping, dripping glaze with purple. So how I add the dripping effect is by making these sort of swishy swirling motion at the side of the cake. Like this. And then I color the top in. So maybe what what flavor would this be? Like a blueberry? Maybe it's not blue enough for a blueberry. I don't know. Artificial flavoring. <laughs> and let's add another layer to the cake. Maybe it has something like a lemon curd in between. So again, I'm sort of drawing a half circle. And then again, this one has sort of a chocolatey biscuit base. Maybe there are some little spots in here. And then let's add something to the top. Maybe red 
dots. It's not really very visible, but that's okay. And then a candle. How I draw a candle is just like a straight line. And then maybe with brown, this little point, and then add the flame in orange or yellow. That's fun. And what I also really like, let me grab my book, is um, these cake stands. So let's draw one of those. Um, how I do that is I start again with a circle, uh, which is actually very similar to the, the saucer, the little plate, and then add a leg and the foot. So let's add that to this beautiful cake. The plate and the leg and the little foot. And maybe this has a little bit of decoration. That could be fun. So I'm grabbing another color and giving it sort of these petals. They remind me of um, of flower petals. And that's this cake done. What I also really like is cupcakes. So let me show you how I draw a cupcake. I start with, again, sort of half a circle, a little half of a ball. And then for the paper that the cupcake is in, I draw this zigzag line at the base and then two straight lines that go in a bit and a straight line and I'm giving the little cupcake cup some stripes and then let's add some decoration maybe sort of like a whipped cream sort of thing and then some chocolates, like a piece of chocolate. Let's draw one more cupcake. So again, the base and then the little cupcake cup. Maybe this one has some like sort of sauce, cherry and glaze. And a little dot. Okay, that's the party food done. Let's draw some decorations. So what I really like is um, a garland. So let's draw a line. This is the string. And then let's add triangles. In different colors so use as many colors as you want all the colors that you have and then let's decorate the little triangles so this one gets stripes and a little ball. This one gets diagonal stripes. I'm gonna make this one purple. Maybe some small dots. So there's no right or wrong, just decorate as you please. Maybe you want them all colored in. That's also quite nice, I think. Um, maybe this one something like this more stripes and we're almost done with this now what else do we need at a party maybe um, some balloons so i'm gonna use this chunky pencil now 
a balloon isn't round it's more like egg shaped so the bottom of the balloon is more narrow and then it has this little I don't know how to call this like a little skirt you know where the air is blown in and let's tie it up and give it a string and then maybe this balloon has like these circles and let's draw another balloon a blue one again a little narrower at the bottom and let's give this one stripes I want to draw one more thing, which is a party hat. So I'm just gonna, it's very similar to the garland triangles. So uh, what color shall I use? This orange one. A party hat is basically, again, a triangle or more like a cone. And then a straight line at the bottom. And then maybe give this one stripes too. And some pink stripes. And then at the top, let's give it something like this. Maybe. So um, this is it. Uh, remember, you can also use other materials. What I really like to do is use paint first, if you have the time, let it dry, and then add crayons or colored pencils over the paint. That's also really fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun drawing along with me. And remember, the fun doesn't have to stop here. You can continue drawing more cakes. Um, I just wanted to tell you that my uh, picture book is available via the online webshop. So go have a look if you want and um, have a lovely day. Bye!